So I recently completed this headstone, which is now located in West Cemetery in Madison, Connecticut, just east of New Haven. It memorializes the memory of Christine and Casimir Gorski, who were married for over 65 years. The husband and wife are depicted as two robins nestled together at the top of an apple blossom tree. As the official bird and flower of Michigan, they hearken back to the state where they were born and fell in love. The robin on the right is singing Life Could Be a Dream, which arches above the two in a little ribbon. This is taken from the classic 1950s song, which Casimir used to sing to Christine, and has some really touching lyrics about meeting again in paradise. Carving letters just five millimeters high was really, really tough, but it helps draw the viewer in close, and I love that this gravestone has an element of sound to it. The seven flowers that swirl across the composition represent each one of their children. There's also a smaller eighth bud, but I'll leave that to your own contemplation. It took a long time carving and shaping the petals to give each flower its own identity. The shape of the tympanum was inspired by Connecticut stonecutters who loved to experiment with very ornate tops which curved and swirled into very playful designs. I had never cut a shape so complicated before, and it was a lot of work to first rough out, then clean up, and finally sand smooth. Another regional feature of Connecticut is this wavy decoration, so I designed my own version and had a lot of fun carving each rainbow arch as it bounced larger and larger. The curtains dangling from both sides fold back, acting almost like stage curtains revealing the scene of a play. The base of the tree dips subtly to either side, making a graceful transition to the italic epitaph, which introduces the names of the deceased. Here, the lettering is in the Roman imperial style, which is very classic and dignified. With all my headstones, the lettering is hand-painted and hand-carved, with the same tools stonecutters would have used in the 18th century. Doing so creates these V-cuts, which wonderfully pick up the light and shadows. As I mentioned earlier, Christine and Casimir were married for over 65 years, having met when they were just 21 years old. Because they spent virtually their entire lives together, I felt it far more appropriate to bind their names together rather than to list them separately. Below are their dates of birth and death. By abbreviating the months on the left and years on the right, a sense of symmetry and balance is felt. The spinning borders on both sides, combined with the curving top, rainbow ripples, and swirling branches, infuse this stone with a lot of graceful rhythm and movement. The gravestone is located on the edge of the cemetery, and the backdrop of trees and bushes perfectly harmonizes with the landscape in the tympanum. So there you have it. I think the headstone captures the Gorski's loving bond and devoted children. It feels modern, but at the same time fits within the historical context of Connecticut gravestones.